In a doubly reinforced sections, the compressive steel bar are provided in order to share the compressive stress together with the concrete at the compression region. At the ultimate limit state, there are two types of possibilities. The compressive steel bar may have yielded or may not yield. If the compressive steel bar has yielded, the design compressive stress of the steel bars are fully utilized. Under such circumstances, the compressive stress within the bar it will be determined by 0.87 FYK. The factor of 0.87 is due to the partial factors of safety of 1.15 for the steel. However, if the compressive steel bar has not yielded, the stress within the compression steel bar has not reached to its design stress. With that, we cannot use FSC equals to 0.87 FYK. In order to determine the stress developed within the compression steel bar when it is not yield, we will have to refer to the strength diagram. Assuming the concrete strength is at its limit and the positions of the neutral axis is at x equals to 0.45d, through interpolations, we will be able to obtain the strength in the compressive steel. The strength in the compressive steel is represented by epsilon SC. From the strength there, we will be able to determine the compressive stress of the steel based on the modulus of elasticity. From there, we will be able to predict the forces generated by the compression steel. Now that we know that it is important for us to determine whether the compression steel bar has already yielded or not at the ultimate limit state. The next question is, how do we know whether it already yielded? To know that, we can do some simple calculation. This equation is derived based on the stress diagram here. It represents a ratio of the epsilon SC with the height and epsilon CC with the height of the neutral axis, as given in this equation. This height here is determined by minusing the x with d prime. Reorganize the equations, we obtain this equation. For the compressive steel bar to undergo yielding, it will undergo a strain of 0 0.00217. The value is substituted into the equations. You will obtain d prime per x equals to 0 0.38. This set the boundary that defines whether the compression steel bar has yielded or not at the ultimate limit state. If d prime per x is less than 0 0.38, we will know that the compression steel bar has yielded at the ultimate limit state. Assuming x is equal to 0.45d, these equations can be represented by a ratio of d prime per d, which is less than 0.171. This gives us a more straightforward method for us to check whether the steel bar have yielded in compression. So, as long as the d prime per d is less than 0 0.171, the FSC can always be used equals to 0 0.87 FYK. However, if d prime per d is more than 0 0.171, that means the compression steel bar has not yielded you will need to determine the strength in the compressive steel bar 
and by using the modulus of elasticity you determine the compressive stress in the compression steel bar the area of the tension steel bar under the conditions here it will be given by this equation the area of the compression steel bar here is represented for the situations where the bar has yielded it is to be multiplied with the unyielded stress with the full design stress of the compression steel bar.